Google here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, you guys, now it has been a while since I've done a subscriber submit wig. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, do you guys like my look today? Oh my God, it's very Nicki Minaj and Trolls inspired. <laughs> I know you don't like me. You wanna fight me. <laughs> Oh my God, I am enjoying this way too much. I have dug through my pile of submissions and I found one that really suits my needs for today's video. Yes, let's read off our little note that it came with first. Oh, it's so cute. It's on a little, it's a panda bear sleeping on top of a rice cake. How adorable. All right, here we go. Dear James, and James is spelled correctly, which is very, very important. Been watching your videos a lot lately and I have learned so much from your wig tutorials. Other than Art of Wigs, I have such a hard time finding quality tutorials. Speaking of Art of Wigs, that is where this apple red ponytail wig, ponytail clip, and very long wefts are from. Personally, I don't even remember ordering this wig and don't know where it came from. Kind of a spooky ghost wig. I hope it's not haunted. Well, I hope so too. Jesus Christ, I have enough living in here. I'm a ghost and you're not paying rent. Feel free to do whatever you can to it, especially since it has a strange part in the middle. Great. That's great. This wig has never been worn, so you are good to use it. Thanks for your knowledge, Nick and Kirsten. A. Kirsten A. Are they brother and sister? Are they married? What's the story here? I want to know more. I want to know more about you. Thank you, Nick and Kirsten. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look at what they sent me. First thing first, we have this ponytail wig from Arda Wigs. Now, I've done Arda Wigs before on this channel a long, long time ago, and oddly enough, it was a ponytail wig I was making with it. <laughs> I didn't realize they actually had pre-made ponytails. That's fascinating. All right, take that out. Oh boy, that is definitely a cosplay kind of wig. Look at that, that's interesting. That is definitely interesting. Let's look at the inside. Good structured cap. It's a hard front, which means you might have to do a little bit of work to the hairline, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, lots and lots of hair in this. It feels heavy. Let's look at what else we got. This is our ponytail piece. Now this is interesting is when it comes to ponytail pieces, I'm used to like a drawstring with like clips. This is actually like a butterfly clip ponytail. So it's got a good grip to it. And there's also a drawstring in it as well. That's fascinating. Wow. Okay. I'm not mad at that. All right. And let's see, we got our weft. Oh yeah. Very long weft. This is going to come in handy today for today's challenge. This is going to come in handy. Look. This is gonna come in handy today for our video cause I don't wanna spoil it for you guys cause you probably already read the title, but I'm gonna be making a wig inspired by Cardi B's hairstyle. You know, the one with the hearts? Now I'm gonna use a foam heart to create a bionic out of this world hairstyle. And I know what you're thinking. It takes a lot of nerve to recreate a Cardi B look dressed as Nicki Minaj. Well, I'll let you know right now, I'm only loyal to one thing on this channel and that's my bag. Plus, whatever beef they had needs to be squashed, okay? We're better together, all right? Ladies, we stick together. <laughs> all right, I am back. This is the wig. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. I already have some ideas brewing as to what we can do with this, but we're not gonna stop there. We also need data, 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 Clip it anywhere, I guess. This is not gonna hold it, it's gonna fall off. Oh my God. This is definitely a look. I'll be right back. I'm gonna transform this wig. Oh my God, it's falling back, it's falling back. <laughs> All right, I am back. Now let's get started on this wig. Now the ponytail is already starting to come loose from having that clip on it. So I'm just gonna undo it. Whoosh. There you go, okay. And it is your basic wig, honestly. Although I will say what's unique about it is that the tracks are sewn upwards so that they're made to be pulled back into a ponytail, which is very inventive. I appreciate that. But this hairline is a no-go, sis. Like, <laughs> that ain't happening. So we're just gonna fix that problem right now. I could either find a lace front wig that matches this, which would be my Sylvia Red from James Mansfield Beauty, or I could make my own hairline, which I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna root a little hairline here. And I'm not gonna go too crazy with the teasing on this because I'm honestly not gonna be doing a whole updo like situation here. I just need to have a hairline going. 
So I'm just gonna pull those hairs from the front of the hairline and root those down so I have a more natural look. And I've rooted a hairline for you folks so many times in this channel, I even have a whole video dedicated to me doing it. So I'll link that down below. I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. We're just gonna root the front hairline and then I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I rooted out the hairline here and I pulled the hair back into a ponytail. And I put a little higher on the head. Okay, we're gonna set her aside. Yeah, you go over here for now. We don't need you. And we're gonna move on to our heart-shaped foam pieces. Yeah, heart-shaped foam pieces. <laughs> now, ahead of time, I painted these off camera. I took the white and I painted them red because I know you guys don't like to watch me do a voiceover video. I learned that clearly from my last video. So, I'm going to paint on camera for you folks a ring, yes. And I even bought a brand new paintbrush because y'all been clowning me for my paintbrush in the past videos I've done. So, so we're gonna paint this right now to give you an idea of what I'm going for. As soon as I figure out where the f that paintbrush fell to. Here we go, painting. All right, I'm gonna use some acrylic paint. This is matte acrylic paint, that really matter. Shine might have a bit more of a texture underneath, which will catch more light. So, I mean, you could do that too. And just like that, we're painting the ring red. Painting the roses red. Fabulous. Ooh, there's a little bit of synthetic hair stuck on it. <laughs> now, I understand why I don't do this while I'm doing hair, but it's fine. This is just one of the demo ones anyway. It's not going to go on the finished style. Yeah, basically, you just paint it all red. And you wait for it to dry, and then we move on. Okay, let's start wrapping them. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna take some track hair and I'm gonna cut it off. Okay. Here we go, this is our stuff to work with now. Take a bit of our glue gun and we're gonna fold in some hair. All right, craft time! Here we go. Smash down that hair like that, girl. Yes. And if you're new with the glue gun, I'll give you a little secret right now. Pro tip, water seals the glue gun. So if you will like lick your fingertips like that and press it, it will seal the glue. Cause it's plastic. I don't know, it's science or something. I hear it, it works. It just works, okay? It's like the purge, it just works. Wrap it, yes! Okay, that's our first wrap. All right, and just like that, we're gonna do strip and press the hair as we wrap it. And the good thing about hair is that you can stretch it around to make it fill up more space than it really does. And all we really wanna be cautious of is making sure you don't get any hot glue stains in the hair. And if you do, just take some scrap hair and cover it up. And if you wanna go even bolder, girl, tame the flyaways. Some that good old hairspray. I live. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap this too. All right, let's get to wrapping. More hair. I'm probably only gonna do a little bit of this because Honestly, you kind of get it after this point and I'll come back when it comes to the point of like, you know, joining here. But it's really, really simple. We're just putting hair on it and wrapping. And I have to say, I'm so thrilled that these funky hair show hairstyles are coming back in style. Oh my God, I love it. When people make hair styles that are like out of this world. That's my favorite. I mean, looking back at this, I probably should have gotten smaller hearts. <laughs> This is all they had available to me at Joanne Fabrics. I think all the other girls in my neighborhood are also getting this idea right now. But it's fine, you know? I'm. It's drag. It'll be more drag this way. It's coming along. You know, like I said, just pay attention to those little glue bits and spray it down with hairspray to keep it down. Even put a blow dryer to it to make it stay down. And whatever flyaways you get, we can tame down with hairspray as well as clip them away. Because with projects, girl, you're gonna make some mistakes from here and there. You just have to accept that and just Explore and have fun. Create. Don't let that stop you from creating. Just think of it this way. Every other celebrity hairstylist started exactly this way. It's experimenting. Throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. I just burned my fingers so badly. Okay. This is great. Oh my God. This is just like being in high school again, doing my art projects. Yeah, in hindsight, I probably would have used smaller hearts, but here we are. And that red definitely helps. Definitely, definitely helps. All right. Well, I'm almost halfway through this. I'm going to do the rest off camera and I'll be right back and show you how to <laughs> seal this up. All right. Welcome back. Okay. So 
This is how our hair heart looks. I'm going to do a little Cindy Lou Who, almost like how the Grinch stole Christmas inspired kind of hairstyle, something like that. Something very fun, very funky, very different for this channel. So what we're gonna do is we have to tether this on here somehow. Now there are a number of different ways you can do it, but I'm limited for resources right now. So I'm gonna use a little bit of twine that actually was the ponytail holder for this originally. So I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna start to tether it down. Yes, okay. Do my best to keep the hair out of the way because this is all gonna get covered up anyway. And this is a nice little elastic band, so I'm going to do some shibari right now and tie this up to the hair ponytail. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to do hair around it anyway for foundation. It just has to be inspired. Okay, there we go. All right. I know front of the hair right there. Got our ponytail hanging out, and that is loosely tied on, which is fine. Okay. Now... Normally you probably want to hot glue this, but I don't know if I want to rip this wig apart and use it for something else. So we'll see. This is so stupid. I love it though. Okay, here we go. Just detangle that. And we're going to start wrapping it to hide our seam. Just disperse hair. Do one around. Do one over. Or no, let's do it the other way. And one over. And this is what we are going for. I want to add some bobby pins and smooth this out a bit. And we're going to add some stuff around it to hide our seams more. And if it looks like I'm struggling right now, I am. <laughs> I've never done anything like this. Ah! And I hate this goddamn wig stand. It always gets so loose. All right, I am going to bobby pin the rest of this on. I'll be right back and we're going to hide this <laughs> seam. All right, I'm going to take some of those wefts that they gave me. And I'm going to create a switch. Just braid that up. Do, 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 do. It doesn't have to be too tight because it's not going to be crazy. And I also have to be able to pin it still. All right, I'm going to take my braided switch. I'm going to take the tail end and tuck it right back here. Okay, now we're going to wrap this up. And that's going to help hide our seams. There, let me pin that down. Let me pin that down. And honestly, I have never done anything like this before, y'all. So I'm really pushing myself for you right now. Oh my God. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I have faith that this will look like something. All right, just taking bobby pins and pinning them where I need them to go to help keep the still one and two, make sure it hides everything that needs to be hidden. She's looking cute so far. She's looking like a do. I'll give it that much. The back's a little messy, but I'm actually going to put a fall back there so you won't see that. Thankfully, they gave me this ponytail piece, so this will also help to hide some mistakes. One thing I'll say about the Arda Wigs ponytail that they have, the one I got is actually very, very short in the back. So if you want to do like a higher ponytail, it's not really capable of doing it. It only really is capable of going back to like a far back ponytail. That, and we're just going to grip it like that. And voila! Yes! She's looking like a Sailor Moon villain. I'm living. <laughs> Take down our bangs. Okay. We just chop off the section of the rooted hairline. Okay, here we go. Now we gotta do our bangs. Now for the bangs, I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do. I might just do like a Betty Page kind of bang and call it a day. TBH. Oh my God, she's serving a super Sailor Moon villain right now, which was not my original intention, but if it goes into like a Sailor Moon territory, I ain't mad about it. I was trying to reference like, you know, Cardi B or Megan the Stallion, but if we get Sailor Moon villain, girl, I'm not gonna argue. All right, we are almost done. We just gotta garnish this now. So I'm gonna take my scissors and some fake flowers. I'm gonna chop off those little stems and I'm gonna take my glue gun. And anywhere you have a gap or something, this is a good way to hide it. How fabulous is that? Now you could have just left it as is, but if you wanna be extra like me, put flowers on it. Garnish it, God damn it. All right, rip off that stem and glue some more. Oh, that is extra as hell. <laughs> this also works if you have obvious glue stains on your onk. Instead of looking like a heart, it looks more like an onk. <laughs> Shout out to Yahua. I bought that song, by the way. I still haven't figured out how to get a refund on iTunes, but I bought it. Let's hide some of my glue stains. There we go. No one will ever know. Oh. 
Honey, y'all weren't ready for this. <laughs> now I just gotta add some to the back because the back is kind of like... <gasps> Oh, I have a rose too. Let's use the rose up there. Set it apart. That way it's like, you know, the single rose that grew out of cheap weave. Yes. Oh, ow, that hurt. Okay, this top rose up here will signal to all the men of my purity and my virginity. Oh, so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I think we're just about done. This is really, really cute. Now I have to try it on and do my finishing touches on my own head and I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. And oh my God, I have to say, wrapping hair like that was a project I did not expect would take as long as it did. If I had to do that again, I probably would do a lot of that off camera before I even announced I was doing it. <laughs> Halfway through, I'm like, why am I doing this? Anyways, I think it came out really, really fabulous. It's serving you some post-apocalyptic kind of, you know, swag, I love that. Very Lashawn Beyond. Anyways. I love it. It is a full-on onk hairstyle, <laughs> giving you full hair show. I'm obsessed. Arda Wigs really came through with this. Thank you. What the f was their names? Their names were Nick and Kirsten. Do you see? Do you see? She's out of control, everyone. Jane's man still doesn't care about her fans. She didn't even do her Ven moments. The names she should have said were Julie, Alton, Sean, Sabrina, and a papalimony from David. She forgot all of those names. James Mansfield doesn't care about her fans. We should cancel James Mansfield. Cancel, cancel James, James Mansfield. Mansfield. And if you would like to submit a wig to be transformed, I have my P.O. Box information listed down below. I'm always looking for new inspiration. <laughs> now, grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code James20 or Mansfield and get 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. And if you want to look as gorgeous as I do, you can always use my code James and get 30% off at Gerard Cosmetics on regular priced items. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Onk, onk. Click here and watch me make a hard front wig or see me style a wig from the Tokyo Styles X Blami collection. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll chop off your hair and make a wig out of it. So click it.